Hi everyone, I'm uh, Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, today, uh, our main subject uh, is about uh, humidification, uh, dehumidification, desalination. Uh, actually, it is a, a performance model, so uh, some parameters should be known, such as uh, heat transfer area, uh, humidifier uh, uh, length or height, or, and the diameter. If is, uh, it was in circular shape, and uh, mass flow rate uh, should be uh, assigned as an input because this is a performance. It is not uh, a design. So, uh, in design mode, we need to discover uh, the heat transfer area and mass flow rate. Anyway, uh, let's go. Uh, first of all, open your MATLAB, then and go here for go to your destination folder from this path. Okay, this bus. Okay, uh, don't open it from desktop. Okay, open MATLAB first, and uh, this is my working folders, and this is my model. Okay, so I have to go here and uh, humidification is this one, and clicking here, uh, sort by name and group by type. So you will find everything. Uh, is really organized here. This is uh, pro properties of uh, water. Okay, uh, saturated water, liquid and vapor phases. Okay, this is our main model. This is basic one, and this is version two. Okay, okay, the updated one. Let's go for version two. Drag and drop. Okay, this is our main model. The cycle is simply containing a dehumidifier, which is uh, containing um, circular tubes or uh, some some kind. The whole process is. is um, uh, somehow of a heat exchanging process because we have humidifier uh, it is working as a, a heat exchanger unit uh, we have humidifier saline water going inside and to be heated uh, so the heater uh, heater can be used as uh, electric heater uh, fire boiler um, waste heat uh, solar collectors, whatever, process heat, whatever, uh, any type of uh, of heater unit, okay? And we have the humidifier. Um, for the humidifier, uh, the hot air is going up, upstream, and um, uh, holding uh, particles of the water, okay? The saline water, the heated saline water, and uh, to be sprayed and condense it over uh, uh, the dehumidifier tubes and we have here uh, the collected uh, fresh water should be uh, accumulated okay uh, let's double clicking here okay this is a brief about uh, the process let's go inside so uh, this is the system is uh, is going to be simulated in a for loop so we have here this is the air circulation air circulation okay and uh, let's go here inside so be before going you have to set your simulation time into zero okay double clicking uh, on each unit you will you have to assign some inputs okay and normally in uh, saline water uh, it's about 15 degrees celsius 20 degrees celsius something like this and uh, saline water mass flow rate you can you can change this to to a slider as you can see here slider so i can control this in in dynamic mode if i would like or you can do it as an edit okay so you can enter a matrix value okay i will show you how and for salinity of the supposed seawater salinity brackish water it's up to your design you have up to your selection Okay, you can also control this by uh, increasing and decreasing uh, the system salinity. Uh, air mass flow rate the, the same, and heat transfer area. Suppose I have a 12 uh, for the uh, um, dehumidifier, 12 uh, meter square meter. Effectiveness should be uh, available as uh, 85 percent, something like this. Okay, suppose I need to control this, just right click here, okay, and going to the mask and edit mask. And let's go for parameters 
you can also uh, uh, delete the image by adding this uh, percent uh, symbol okay if you hit apply there is no image here so you you disappear or you can uh, put your image if you would like but be sure that the same folder to be uh, containing uh, uh, the images that you would like to adapt here okay uh, let's go back again removing this and hit apply so i i uh, return it back uh, okay for selling water suppose i i need to change the uh, selling uh, um, uh, sea water uh, mass flow rate there's a minimum and maximum ranges so you can control the ranges okay and uh, you can choose edit so if you choose edit let's hit apply and see okay hit okay and let's go here you will find it as an edit okay so you can enter is enter it as a value single value or you can use it as a uh, matrix so it will give you a uh, 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 matrix uh, results okay uh, let's let's hit back again okay let's hit back again let's go for selling water mass flow rate uh, i i usually use a slider because it it can help me in uh, uh, Let's set our ranges. Mm, okay. And five. Put this as one. Let apply. Okay. And let's see. Okay. So I retain it back again. Okay. It's the same for uh, humidifier. Okay. We, can, we have to assign some inputs. A diameter. And length for this um, maybe uh, i i can or surely we have effectiveness and uh, lewis factor okay mm, maybe one is fine okay let's uh, right click mask edit mask and going here uh, let's return this i i would like to convert this to a slider order to control the area and see the effect immediately let's let's go for the area is from uh, 0 point oh, for example about one meter uh, i'm sorry this is the diameter okay up to uh, 100 meters maybe this is too much uh, let it be 10 meters okay as a one unit horizontal and length or height let's i am retaining it to a slider the same is going to on one and uh, 10 meters okay and it should be horizontal this one and okay okay hit apply uh, we have to set our values for this one uh, let it be uh, one meter uh, diameter and uh, this one should be uh, uh, 1.5 for example the height hit ok and, and let's see okay so now i can control this i can i can control this while the system is running in order to uh, discover the effect of your heat transfer area because this is going to change the volume and the area ratios okay uh, let's go inside and see uh, okay we have these inputs that we already assigned for the humidifier and we need to discover outlet because surely i i adopted um, uh, this uh, memory block because we have a loop so i have to set this is an um, initial value in order to uh, run the system uh, um, uh, at the initial conditions under the initial conditions then the system will uh, rectify itself automatically uh, and for we need to discover um, out the humidifier outlet see water temperature uh, surely if you double clicked here you can uh, control the code okay this is your code uh, equations these are your outputs inputs and uh, model function okay so um, this is your code 
uh, controlling uh, outputs and input. You can edit it, you can copy and, and use it in your research work. Okay, and for the heater, heater means uh, heat addition, so we added heat to the water because this is a water heater system and uh, adding the heat so we need to uh, assign some the heat input okay it's a slider uh, in kilowatt of power as you can see here okay let's begin from uh, uh, 20 or uh, you can see the value 10 kilowatt of power and see is effect on your temperature and uh, Okay, we adjusted our system. Let's hit run and see. Suppose I hit, I am hitting run. Okay, let's hit run. Okay, I'm waiting. The system is uh, running. Okay, it it finished. Okay, so under our such circumstances, we have uh, outlet sea water. Okay, it should be something like this. I, I can't remember oh, a seawater temperature is 20. Okay, so uh, this is again on temperature 7 degrees Celsius. Air temperature, okay, and this is your product. This is your permeate or productivity kilogram per second. And overall heat transfer loss coefficient, uh, thermal uh, power and this is your recovery ratio let's go for here so we for 10 kilowatts we we raised up the temperature to 30 degrees celsius nearly 30 degrees celsius and for the dehumidifier for the humidifier we have the following uh miracle number uh effective surface area which is um uh, meters uh, square meter over uh, the volume and uh, convective heat transfer coefficient mass heat transfer coefficient uh, logarithmic wind temperature uh, humidifier number of transfer units uh, thermal power overall heat transfer and uh, outlet air humidity okay uh, we can type if you'd like to send your signal to data inspector you have to name the signal I am naming the signal so this is a humidifier let it be humidifier w a w air out because this is a humidity ratio okay and be sure to assign this from here just to click on this and uh, click on send the data to uh, data uh, to uh, data inspector or send this uh, sending the signal to a data in inspector so i am uh, or you can go here and you select this one you should be aware about this square small square to be as to be assigned here or to be shown here okay uh, saving okay go outside here as you can see you will find your results you can find your results also you can find it mass flow rate of the air okay this is your mass flow rate of the air mass flow rate of the brine uh, okay mass mass ratio okay this is your mass ratio mass mass ratio it's about uh, i think it's uh, saline water flow rate over uh, the air uh, flow rate okay let's go for uh, suppose I, I i need to um, run this in dynamic mode okay so i'm setting my simulation time into infinity let's go here for infinity okay uh, first of all let's let's save this one as uh, save as as dynamic mode okay i'm saving it as a dynamic mode okay i'm going to change some parameters so it is very important setting my simulation time into infinity and suppose i would like to discover the effect of power on on the system so let's begin for uh, by okay running the system and uh trying to just one click and uh, move the cursor keyboard uh, arrows left or right I am increasing 
okay i'm increasing the power as you can see here temperature of uh, uh, the saline water is increasing and the effect on uh, the system parameters is uh, in uh, increasing mode okay let's decreasing a little bit again okay suppose i would like to uh, change the area let's see changing the area okay double clicking um let's say increasing the diameter so i'm increasing the diameter up to two meters and see the effect and the humidifier uh, height okay increasing the humidifier height okay and that's enough for now stop okay you have to because this is a dynamic mode so uh, you have to go here in uh, data inspector and we can seek some results some outputs okay for outlet t water temperature from the dehumidifier as you can see here this is the effect of the power and then uh, the effect of the area uh, this is outlet air temperature we can put pause on the same curve but uh, we have to maybe there is a huge difference so we can uh, yes we can put put it here and this is product increasing and decreasing uh, overall heat transfer coefficient uh, thermal power recovery ratio uh, this is the time that I, I didn't use the keyboard the arrows so this is remaining constant with time I will change this you can change this Mercury uh, number salinity profile uh, Okay, salinity profile, we are waiting. Brian, I'm sorry, this is Brian profile. And um, uh, effective um, convection heat transfer, okay, decreasing. Okay, suppose I would like to, let's delete all of this, okay. Uh, suppose I would like to control this in uh, another matter. Uh, for example, um, let's go here. Suppose I would like to control the power by using a signal uh, suppose i have a power uh, okay let's go here for the water heater and this is a power so i would like to uh, remove this one okay put it here and uh, comment it and i am going to use a source okay source Let's go for N, okay, and because power has a massive effect, control I to switch it, and let's connect, and let it be Q, uh, Q heater in kilowatt, okay, copy it again, and we can do the following, let's go outside here, so we need to add it here this is a power okay let's uh, adjust ourselves okay this is a power okay and let's go outside here we need to connect as a power from outside because there is a for loop we can we can't use signal builder uh, uh, beside the using of for loop Therefore, let's go for sources and signal. But I am creating a specific signal. Let's go here. Okay, you can create it by yourself by doing the following. Okay, you can create it from here. Signal, a new signal. Uh, for example, let it be custom. Uh, with time, for example, suppose it's from uh, uh, 20. Step one okay up to uh, 70 uh, kilowatt of power okay and this is the time okay control c and i will put it here i'm sorry i have to signal custom okay uh 20 okay up to 70 um, okay, I should put it here. Okay, I, I don't know why it is not. Uh, we can use use it back again. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go here. 
okay axis changes time time is from uh, 20 up to 70 the same as above okay and go to the signal replace with custom let's go for 20 step 1 and 70 and the same here I hope it can work okay okay this is a powerful actuation you can uh, 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 control it you can uh, reshape your signal based on your uh, uh, design okay you can reshape the signal suppose it's coming from the solar power a uh, little bit increasing and decreasing back again so we can uh, realize the difference okay you can add more points if you would like you can add hundred points thousands of points okay suppose we have the, the following okay let's hit back again some kind of decreasing back okay uh, we are studying the behavior of uh, the power effect on the solar oh i'm sorry on the water okay heading back again and let's go up okay uh, just an, an example you, you know you can you can uh, adapt your own uh, signal analysis okay as you can see here let's head back down again okay That's, that's nice we can rename our signal okay we can rename this let it be uh, q heater in uh, kilowatt okay uh, saving closing and don't forget to adjust your time because um, the signal time uh, it is from 20 up to 70 not infinity 70 okay hit apply okay and now we have to connect our signal okay you can add more here you can add more signal Tempor any feed uh, temperature uh, air mass flow rate uh, whatever you would like you can add more more signals here you can add more signal you can add new signal and add and study the effect of all of such parameters on your system Okay, now we have to run our system and see within this uh, limited time. It is not a time, it's a power. I'm converting the time uh, into a power. So let's see uh, the effect. Saving. So if we, here, we, um, there is no effect of this one because we already connected it outside uh, the system. Okay, if you go outside, we already commented this one. So there is no effect if you change uh, let's go here and see the effect on silent temperature hit, hit with respect to the time as you can see here changing up and down up and up based on your signal as you can see uh, time is from 20 up to 70 as you can see here uh, let's go for the humidifier okay working fine mass ratio is changing no changing in mass ratio because we we didn't change the mass flow rate okay uh, only temperature and uh, okay a product uh, should be in changing mode salinity temperature outlet air temperature uh, recovery ratio is in a changing mode more recovery ratio is surely uh, 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 the better okay let's go here okay finishing our uh, simulation okay let's hit uh, going to data inspector and see uh, our effect let's go here okay uh, outlet seawater temperature varying because of uh, uh, the power uh, air also varying suppose i would like to put air and water as you can see here you can compare runs let's compare some runs let's compare some runs um, productivity overall heat loss or heat transfer coefficient uh, recovery ratio it, it 
surely taking the same behavior of your data inspector power of the humidifier um, let's go for mercury number no, no effect of mercury number uh, brain loss this is decreasing uh, serenity serenity um, let's go for a cue of um, uh, the okay this is the first run I'm closing this one and suppose this at um, this area suppose I would like to increase the area let's go for uh, uh, diameter is 3 and height is 4 uh, I'm, I would like to see uh, let's hit run and see our uh, I would like to okay not changing the same behavior but a different uh, heat transfer area okay I, I should change this one the heat transfer area of I forget to change the, the heat transfer area of the dehumidifier so anyway let's see I think the effect should be uh, on the thermal power of the humidifier uh, and uh, the number of transfer unit as I think and Q the thermal power should be in a changing mode because we changes the effect the area uh, okay nearly finishing I'm reaching to the end okay temperature everything is fine okay okay and at 70 okay let's go here i'm trying to uh, inspect if uh, this is the second run so i can compare you can compare runs here this is fantastic i'm waiting for the data okay this is the f this is first run and this is the second run okay let's go and i think the, the area should be aff affecting on uh, the queue I'm waiting for the data, so many data. It's taking some time. Okay, and okay. Let's go here and trying to adding a new the same here. Salinity I think the same. I think it should be a number of transfer units. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's move the salinity here from here salinity and we need number of transfer units of the first one and number of transfer units for the second one I think it should be or you maybe you uh, you here let's go here and let's go here I can't remember the effect of uh, which I'm um, sorry with the fire okay this is you and this one yes there's a difference between two um, this is the first run uh, okay at lower hit lower area and this is uh, while we increase the area okay so the effect of on surely on uh, heat transfer coefficient okay and maybe the, uh, uh, the power as I think this one is uh, uh, brine let's remove it let's go for a brine a power I think the power okay you can change the, the mass flow uh, surely and you can realize the difference also you can let's go here and select only four figures and we are trying to change this to a figure so we can compare don't forget this is a power this is not a time this is a power okay if you send this to a figure you can control the power okay I think the mass will will change massively the system performance parameters okay for here you can click here to uh, uh, properties and let's go up okay and we can for x axis we can uh, this is a q 
h in a kilowatt okay so we can uh, this is uh, effect of power on the, the temperature of outlet selling uh, water temperature from the dehumidifier and this is on the Q of the humidifier and this is for overall heat transfer coefficient okay increasing the power would increase as a overall heat transfer coefficient um, this is uh, uh, quite normal okay uh, you can uh, edit this and controlling the figures controlling the lines okay as you wish, as you would like okay uh, okay there's another matter okay let's delete all of this okay and okay if you would like to change the mess with it will surely give you a different uh, uh, results uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for interesting in our model don't forget to like share uh, and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much